What's up, guys? This is Yarvin Pelt, and here we're having a look at the, uh, the Legion class Transformers Prime figures, Series 1. So, yeah, get a look at the packaging first. Hold on, let me just. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I'm sorry about that. If you watch the uh, Gremlins. Vine. Um, the Gremlins. Pop Funko figure, you'll understand what that was about, and the Sonic review. So yeah, I don't have the uh, bubble though. I just have the card back. It says Transformers Prime at top, ages five and up. Easy. So yeah, level one. And we get a picture of Ratchet. RC. Looks like that's supposed to be Optimus Prime. And Bumblebee. You know. Op. You know. Because Optimus Prime was included in this wave, and you know. Um. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I forgot his name. I just ruined that so bad. Uh. Cliff Jumper. Cliff Jumper. Okay. And Cliff, you know, I'll just redo that. Alright. Ratchet. RC. Looks like Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. You know, because Optimus Prime was in this wave, and Cliff Jumper wasn't. So, yeah. There, there's the card back, and I know I just kind of ripped these things open. I was really happy to get them, and there's actually two reasons why I got them, and I'll get into that later. It has the Autobot logo or the Decepticon logo, depending on which one you get. The alt mode with the little red um, weapon, and you have the transparent weapon, and you have the uh, robot mode. And on the bottom, we get the little picture of the Autobots and Decepticons fighting, command your world, watch it on the hub, Hasbro, join us on Facebook and YouTube, yeah, next Justin Bieber here, no, I'm just kidding, alright, so, take a look at the figures, put my camera down, Ugh. I'm so sorry about that, so, here we have Bumblebee, Ratchet, Via, I just screwed his name up so bad, Viacom, Cliff Jumper and RC, you know, she's kind of laying down on the job. So, all of them include this trans um, parent weapon. And it's either a blaster. Oh, wait. She has a blaster, too. Or it's like this weird sword blaster thingy. And the Vihakan came, Vihakan, Vihakan came with this sword axe blade blaster thingamabob. He came with plastic, so he can stone you with plastic, or plastic you with plastic. I don't, I don't know what that'd be called. So let's take a look at the Viacon first. So, yeah, very nice. I, I think this is a pretty good job of capturing how he looks on the show and how they look on the show. And it's pretty nice paint apps, pretty good. He does, in fact, kind of roll. On the back, you can see his little feeties. And he has the, uh, the spoiler, the windshield, and wheels. And on the bottom, you can see his, uh, you can't see the head, but you can see the torso, you can see the legs. So transformation is very simple. What you're going to do is just bend the legs down. You're going to bring the arms out. They have two joints. There's a joint there and a joint there. You're going to bring them up like that on both sides untap the legs and to bring the head out what you're actually going to do is pull this whole hood piece and I am doing this right hood piece right is it the am I doing this right yeah you're going to pull the oh okay I'm sorry guys yeah you're going to pull the hood piece and that includes the arms out like so then the head is hiding in there and you're gonna flip out the head like so and you're gonna flip the piece back so there you have the Viacom and it's very nice I really like the head detail the detail on his body um my camera does not do this figure justice but it is very very actually really cool and I really like how they're not big and bulky they're actually very thin and sleek and his arms are just the side of the you know, the door, so you're going to have, like, extra pieces hanging off, and he does have hands, 
so he can hold his blaster axe blade thingy mabob thing. And yeah. Articulation for him. Arms can go up and down on two joints. They are ball jointed so they can go three sixty. They can come out at an okay range. His head doesn't really have a lot of movement. He can nod, but you're gonna move the back piece too. So yeah. And legs are on a ball joint. That's all you're gonna get from the Viacon. And of course you can plug this weapon into one of his arm ports if you want. Or make him hold it in his hand. So yeah, there's the Viacon. Now we're gonna take a look at RC. She came with I think she came with the blasters. I'm not sure if it was the blaster or the sword, because I just kinda put the weapons aside because I don't think they look that good. So yeah, motorcycle mode. I know she is a lot larger than the car and the ambulance. So yeah. And she's in she's a pretty good motorcycle, you know. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's okay. And she I guess she does roll, I guess. But she's a motorcycle, so she's not gonna roll on herself. On herself, yeah, she's gonna roll on herself. She's not gonna roll by herself, and there you can see her head. So yeah, let's get down to transformation. You can see that those are her little knee pads. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna separate these. You're gonna flip the leg up so that the wheel goes into the leg, like so. And you're gonna flip this back so that the wheel goes into the leg, and you form the legs. Then you're gonna flip these out to form her little tiny wings. They're actually really huge, but to form her little screen accurate wings, something that the uh, first edition did not have. So yeah, take that first edition. We got the Legion, and he has wings. She has wings. And yeah, flip back, and there you have RC. It's actually a pretty good, pretty good figure, pretty good version of RD. RD. I just said RD RC. Yeah. Again, my camera does not do this figure justice. Zoom, please. If you could do anything, just just zoom. No? You don't, you don't want to? Is, is, can, you, can you zoom? No? Please? Please try to. I think I'm doing it. I'm doing it. No. No, actually, I did not accomplish anything by doing that. Okay, RC. And... She's she's a pretty good figure. She's a female, so you know, yeah. And she actually has more articulation than the Viacon, and she has a pretty good pretty good detail. Really like this figure. And right, articulation, ball jointed arms, and they can go up and down due to transformation. Head, no articulation. Um, legs are on a ball joint, so they can go back. They can go out. Pretty much all the ball joint lets them do. She gets a really nice leg bend, which is really cool. No, no, um, ankle articulation. She actually has a lot more articulation than, um, two of the figures in this wave. Not the most, but, you know, one of the best. So, there's RC. You can give her a little blaster to hold in her hand. I'm pretty sure she came with a blaster. You know, so, yeah. Okay, yeah, there she is. Here we have Ratchet, my favorite Autobot, well, probably my second favorite from the, uh, the series, from, well, from the whole Transformers universe. I do not like how he, how he though, appear oh, what am I doing? I do not like how he appeared in the, uh, the Transformers movie, you know, so yeah, Ratchet, I really like him in Transformers Prime, and here he is in an ambulance, um, missing paint apps, though, like the, do 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 the, um, the little heart rate monitor thing on the side that would go on his arms. and But it's pretty good and solid right here. Uh, yeah, it's an okay figure. It's, it's, it has an okay alt mode. Nothing too special. It does roll and can do a wheelie. So yeah, transformation. You're going to fold out the legs like so. And you're going to... Not keep them like that. You're gonna angle them, and you're gonna bring down the feet to make sure that he can stand properly if he wants to. And then you're gonna bring down the arms. Very simple, like this. And there you have Ratchet. Let me just bring the camera. He 
is, you know, sorry, he is, you know, a little taller than RC, and he is a little taller than uh, the Viagon, and here we have Ratchet, and it's, it's really nice, I really, really love this figure, I don't know if it's because, I know I've said I love these figures, you know, for all of them, but this has to be probably my favorite figure from this whole first wave, and I, I love, I love them, I don't know if it's because, you know, I'm a huge Ratchet fan, or because, it's, it's just an awesome figure, love Ratchet, not my favorite Transformer though, that would be Soundwave, yeah, Soundwave, but, uh, Ratchet, you know, he's probably second, and, there he is, he's, I really like him, because he's more of, like, a bigger figure, he has a little bit of bulkiness, but he still has a slim, and, I don't know why, but he's just, like, awesome, and you can take his little sword weapon, put it on the side, for his blades, you can do this, and make his blades, and you can take the other one, or is it, you can take cliff jumpers, and, uh, I get into the side so he has his double blades. Yeah, so I can put it in his hand. So there's Ratchet. Now we go to Cliff Jumper, and he comes with the same blade as Ratchet. And to transform him was actually really, really awkward. Um, these are his, you know, that's his chest. These are his hands, and those are his feet, and I, it's really weird. So what you're going to do is you're going to unpeg the legs, gonna unpeg the arms. What you're going to do first is you're going to... Wait, I lied, I lied. Right. Yeah, no, I was right. right. You're going to flip out, flip the leg over like that, and you're going to rotate the door, because that will become his foot, and do the same for this side. And you're going to bring out these arms like that and flip this whole thing forward. And you're going to push that as far as you can. You're going to bring the arms down and rotate them. Do the same for this side. And then you have Cliff Jumper, basically. Basically. And he has the most articulation out of this whole wave. He has very, very good articulation. Um, yeah, I'll take show you guys that in a second. Uh, you see his horns, little bull horns, little quick jumper horns, and pretty, like, pretty good sculpting on this. I'd have to say so far though, my favorite sculpting is probably the Viacon or Ratchet. Ratchet probably wins, takes the cake, and Viacon's probably a close second. And, yeah, his doors become the feet. Sitting him's not too hard either because you got those big flat feet and yeah articulation arms they can do that you can only go so far though until it starts to look weird and they are on a ball joint elbows are on a ball joint so they can rotate no uh wrist articulation no waist articulation but legs are on a ball joint but they go a lot farther back than they do forward if you try to push them forward too much you can see you're gonna snap the leg off. It's on a ball joint though, so you can just snap it back on. The knee does bend very well. That's because of transformation. And the uh the foot is actually on a ball joint, so you can get nice rockers and a lot of foot movement movement. And you can give him a little weapon. And he actually holds it very well. And yeah, here he is. Cliff jumper. Come aside. Take a look at the last figure. I know, I know, guys. 15 minutes. All two of you, you know. Just stay in there, two of you. It's almost over. One more. One more. So, oh, Bumblebee. Yeah. Um, very, very nice. He's the only other guy that I have in uh, robot mode. Because I haven't found robots in disguise. Cliff Jumper. Yeah, I know. I have to settle for rob robots in disguise. Because I can't afford the first edition. And he come. And here is his... Uh, Robots in Disguise version. It's actually really cool. 
That's really cool how it resembles it really nicely. But still no no painted back. I understand for this guy, but for this guy, it, yeah, no painted windshield, and it's, it's pretty good under him. You can see the whole thing, and I just I don't I know that this is usually the norm for Bumblebee figures now, but I crack up so much whenever I see them because the feet are directly under him, and for some reason, it to me it makes him look like a bunny with the feet, and you can see even the first edition they're in the back of him. And I just laugh, because it's in mostly all Bumblebee figures. No, I don't want to say mostly, but it's in a lot. So yeah, get that in transformation. You gotta unpeg the arms. Very simple transformation. Unpeg the arms, bring them forward like that. Like that. Then you gotta unpeg the legs, bring the feet down. Then you're gonna rotate this whole section. Like so, to give him his little wings and his, uh, his little correct little chest piece. Form his pecs, Autobot pecs. So yeah, there he is, and here's his blaster. And he too has very, very nice detail. Not the best articulation though, but he has very, very nice detail. He's probably... Yeah, I'd say he outranks the Viacon, and so he's probably second. And something that he has that Cliff, Dump Cliff Dumper, yeah, Cliff Dumper doesn't have is up movement in the legs. His legs, can, he can actually sit. Cliff Dumper can't. He can only bend his knees. But, yeah, what are you going to do, you know? At least we got him. Ball-jointed uh, ball arms and ball-jointed legs, that's all he has. Cliff Jumper has more articulation, but, you know, what are you going to do? So he does come with his blaster that you can plug on on each side, or you can make him hold it. Or you can have him hold this really weird thing. Maybe it's a Cybertronian taser. I don't know. But yeah, there he is. Pretty, really nice detail. I really like the way he looks. Very cartoon accurate. Not the best, but he does look very cartoon accurate. The Autobot symbol. And yeah, there he is. So, there we have it. We had a look. I know, 17 minutes, guys. And this is, you know, they are Legion figures, so you'd think that this would be a little bit shorter, but no, it took us 17 minutes. And so there we have the, uh, the Legion figures for Transformers Prime. So remember, guys, stay munching.